I love the jiu-jitsu community and how accepting it is. When I'm rolling with people or when I'm sparring with people, no one holds back unless like we're supposed to for a, a drill. No one treats me any different than any other guy. I think I always imagined having two kids, one daughter and one son. That was sort of the formula. Having a daughter I could, you know, share girl things with, having a son I could throw balls around with, you know, things like that. Very stereotypical gender roles, frankly. I knew what transgender was because Drew had been active in the LGBT community for a while. We'd been involved with the local outreach for a while. I didn't think I personally knew anyone who was trans at that point. So I knew that I was someone who liked girls. I knew that my entire life I had been taught that I was a girl. After puberty, I really didn't like myself, and I really didn't like my body and the way I looked. And I couldn't tell you why, but in retrospect, it was because I looked like a girl. The loss that I felt was more of the loss of the future that I had sort of imagined I was going to have with a daughter. But it hadn't happened yet. It, none of that actually existed. And I'd really never had a daughter. I just didn't know it. Drew was still this interesting, fun kid that he'd always been. We just had the gender wrong all this time. He's living his true self. So after coming to terms with being transgender, the first thing I did was I got a haircut. This was really meaningful to me because it was the first haircut I really liked. And I saw for the first time someone I recognized in the mirror. The second thing I did was I got a chest binder, made my chest look masculine and flat, and I remember take, standing sideways in the mirror, looking at myself, being like, whoa, I didn't know like I could feel like this, I didn't know I could feel this good about myself. Seeing myself look more masculine was really wonderful. <laughs> Okay, every parent wants their kid to be okay, to have a good life, to be safe, to be taken care of. And when you know your child is embarking on a future that may have obstacles that you didn't really consider, it can be scary. We had a lot to do as a family. We weren't asking anyone's permission to take this journey. This was something we were going to be doing with or without them. And fortunately, everybody in our life was super supportive. I remember walking to the office thinking, okay, what could they possibly have on me? And I was pretty nervous. I, I mean, I didn't know why I was there. The guidance counselor said there was an anonymous complaint about me using the men's bathroom and that I was no longer allowed to do that. And I asked her, did I do anything wrong? And she said, no, this is just how it is. It felt like I was being mistreated and it felt like they were singling me out because I was trans. I pictured him sitting alone in a room with three guidance counselors in front of him, being told this information without a supportive parent present, just facing it alone, and how that must have felt for him. And I hurt for him. And I was very angry at the school district for making him feel so different and like he had done something wrong, even though he hadn't done anything but exist. For anyone who thinks that the bathroom that a trans child uses is no big deal. The main argument I have against that is the science. We have study upon study that shows that trans children must be allowed to live authentically in order to have the best possible outcomes, and authentically includes the bathroom. I think for a lot of people it's not common sense. If you're not exposed to the concept of transgender students and how to support them, you may not understand the process. So my mom being the amazing writer that she is. She emailed everyone involved. We started by speaking with school administrators. We brought paperwork, we brought evidence, we brought journal articles. Here's some information, here's how this applies to Drew, let's go forward together. And at every turn, the school district stood by their policy of Drew is different and needs to be in a different restroom. She filed a complaint with the Office of Civil Rights under Obama. And that investigation lasted months. And in the end, just before we were to get some sort of closure on that, the Department of Education rolled back its guidance on transgender students. And that's when we decided to reach out to Lambda Legal. All new tonight at 11, a victory in the courtroom for a St. Johns County student who is transgender. Drew Adams, who sued the school district in order to use the boys' bathroom, just won a lawsuit. You know, you think that your kid is, is special and that everybody's going to want to support them. But in the real world, I knew there were a lot of people who didn't support Drew in our district and beyond. And so to meet this team of amazing people who are all just so eager to fight for, for his truth and his 
equal rights has been the most amazing experience. I started doing jiu-jitsu when I was a kid. My favorite person to spar with in jiu-jitsu is probably my dad. He's a couple belts ahead of me, so he lets me kind of work on what I need to work on without getting too discouraged. 